All right, guys, I don't know how I messed up my dates here, but not May 7th, tomorrow, we have a very important thing happening that everybody needs to be aware of. Okay, This is obviously going to affect the price of ADA and the broader crypto market, so I want to get into it with you guys. Now, if you guys aren't familiar or didn't pay attention, yesterday, the Fed came back and they said, hey, we're going to raise the interest rates another 25 basis points. So this was no surprise to anybody, but the guidance we received from Jerome Powell after that basically said we're going to a very data-driven system of rate hikes, right? We may not have rate hikes at all if the data does not constitute us having that. Now, here's the thing. Tomorrow, we have the jobs report, okay? This is how, I think this is how I messed it up. It's May 5th is the date. I think I saw this 7 and thought it was May 7th. May 5th, tomorrow, is when we are going to get the jobs report. Now, this will obviously give us an indication of what the jobs market is doing, whether there's more jobs, less jobs, whether wages are increasing, decreasing, and they've been moving to the downside already. It's starting to feel the squeeze of what the Fed has been doing in terms of interest rates. Now, here's the thing. This does affect the broader crypto market. Ever, You guys can look back at all the jobs reports, all these dates. It does affect the price. Now, here's the thing. <clears throat> it affects BTC price first and foremost. But right now, the price of ADA is almost directly correlated to what the price of BTC is going to do. If you guys haven't looked at these charts, look at how similar they are, right? The rises and falls are almost identical during this time. ADA has received this massive correlation at this time, and it can't quite break out of it quite yet, right? Maybe late, maybe at some point later this year, but this is where BTC and ADA both have an opportunity to run. If the jobs market does continue to fall, if we show that jobs are decreasing, if we show that wages are flattening, if unemployment is, is going up, this is all stuff that could lead towards the markets running, okay? That's all a positive sign that the economy is, in fact, cooling and that's what the Fed's whole focus this time has been. They, they essentially want to stifle the economy, but not stifle it too much to where we fall into a recession. It's kind of this weird balancing act. That's why all these reports are important. That's why these FOMC meetings are important. That's why I talk about them to you guys here on the, or with you guys here on the channel. Okay. These are very important things. Now, we also do have another thing coming on the 10th, and that's going to be the CPI report. That one, I think, is a very big one. We need to know, obviously, what inflation is doing. If we have another good CPI report, chances are next FOMC meeting, we do not get a rate hike. That is a very positive thing. We may have, in fact, seen the last rate hike of the year. Now, that still obviously has to be, we have time to be told before that happens. There's lots of reports that are coming that are going to show us whether or not that's going to happen. But this will directly affect the, affect the price of ADA, guys. So be prepared tomorrow. I believe the jobs report comes out in the morning. Yeah, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you guys need to see it again here, May 5th, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Jobs report's coming out. Be prepared for how that may affect the price. But appreciate you guys as always. Show your support below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell. Stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Have a great rest of your day, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Take care.